Hey, hey, and welcome to my very first comic book review. I've been wanting to do something new and something different on this channel. I'm seriously passionate about video games, but I'm also very passionate about comic books. This is such an amazing media for storytelling. The first comic I'll be reviewing is a manga. What better way to start the series with quite possibly the biggest form of comic book? This is Rawlgrad. So, is it Rawlgrad? Rawl Omgrad? Or is the Ohm symbol just a graphic that makes the title look cool? Anyway, for the review's sake, it's just going to be Rawlgrad. Rawlgrad is written by Sueno Takano and illustrated by Takeshi Obata, who is the illustrator for Death Note. Rawlgrad is also based on the JRPG Blue Dragon. I had no idea that this was based off the Blue Dragon video game, but I can see the similarities. First things first, this manga has plenty of tits. Well, Barbie doll nudity, if you will. There are plenty of naked bodies, but there is no detail on them. If you're like me and you've been tempted to take your black pen and draw on the detail, yeah, I'm a 12-year-old boy who likes cartoon boobies. The story of Ral Grad is that of a young hero named Ral and his dragon shadow named Grad. Wow, that was obvious. Grad is something called a shadow. Shadows are what inhabit the shadow world and ours as well. The shadows can attach themselves to things in our world in three different ways. First, someone or something can become a host to a shadow, but the shadow will have no control. Second, the shadow can completely overtake the host and use it as its puppet. Third, the shadow can cooperate with the host and become a very powerful shadow, using the other shadows it eats to gain its powers. Or, in Raul and Grad's case, they can become very best friends and use this to their advantage to kick major ass. Also, Raul loves tits. The whole reasoning behind Ral's adventure is to be able to see the world and slay the Shadow Queen Obscura, or Lady Bira. She has two names for some reason. I don't really understand why. She also has huge tits. There is a cast of characters that assemble during Ral and Grad's adventure. You have Miss Mio, Ral's mentor and booby soother. Aya, a small girl with a strange frog dog gecko thing that is used for recon. Kefka with his tuxedo mask shadow, and first big partner to Ral, Sun Tzu, who wants to join the adventure so badly that he gives host to a water skipper shadow, though he does become useful. And finally, Gannett, who is a super douche who speaks Spanish only for cheesy one-liners. He uses a sword and a tiger. I think he's one of the best looking characters, though he isn't deep and you only see him for a very short time. The manga itself is drawn really well. I feel like Obata really made sure that his character design was as far removed as possible from Death Note. I don't know much about Death Note, but I did read Shonen Jump when I was younger. I did read the chapters of Death Note, but I had no idea of what was going on. Anyway, I know that Ibotta made these characters with no intention of having them look like Death Note characters. They almost feel more like Final Fantasy characters. More like Final Fantasy XII characters. The setting has dragons and creatures and swords and sorcery, so I would consider it a fantasy. In my eyes, it's not too often that you see full-on fantasy manga or anime in the medieval sense. The writing is odd sometimes. Whether it was the original Japanese or if it's just the translation, there seems to be a lot of French. I'm not going out of my way to read any of the French. Though I am Canadian, I don't speak any French. I still don't understand why the French is in the book. Maybe it just adds to the appeal of the whole medieval aesthetic. Though, Katsuhiro Otomo's Akira manga had a lot of French in it as well. For a short story, some of the writing feels like padding. Some of the pages are dense with explanations, and it feels unneeded in an already short series. The series is only four volumes long. I'm sure it could have been condensed into three volumes. They introduce all these giant creatures that pose a huge threat to all the inhabitants of the immediate area, but Raul and Grad just slay them with one fell swoop. I'm not going to spoil everything, but they end up fighting an enemy who is very powerful, and it feels like this should have been the climax, but they still have to fight Obscura, Lady Bira after that. The final battle takes up less comic space than the aforementioned fight. It's almost like they ran out of time where the editor of the comic said, WRAP IT UP! And they had to smash together the final battle and leave it at that. Also, you know well in advance that Raul and his ragtag team are gonna kick the shit out of whatever they come across without any problems. Anyway, in the end, Raul and Grad kick the crap out of Lady Bira. We all saw that coming. And they win the day. It kind of does the manga thing where you're not necessarily sure if it's a happy ending, but the world is saved and everyone can live happily ever after. Overall, the series is pretty good. It's drawn very well and the characters look really cool. The story is okay. I feel like the story was a bit rushed and they only made the battles a couple pages long. 
If you're a fan of fantasy, dragon, swordplay, and tits, then I would suggest picking this series up. I enjoyed it, and I think you would too. Alright, before anyone pushes up their glasses and says what the name of the manga is, I'll read out this explanation Takano wrote in the back of Volume 4. First, regarding the title, Rall Omgrad, the Om is Greek letter for Omega. I don't know what it means. Before the series started, we were talking about putting something in between Rall and Grad, so the title wouldn't be Rallgrad, something like And. I talked it over with our editor to come up with an idea that was a bit cooler. I couldn't come up with anything, but Obata suggested the Omega. I had heard it in Obata's previous work, Death Note. Its main character, Light Yagami, wore an Omega watch. I bet it's where I got the idea from. In other words, Ral Omega Grad, the Omega doesn't mean anything. We just wanted to use a cool looking symbol to break up Ral and Grad. So please don't read out the title as Ral Omega Grad. If there's one final thing that I'd like to say, it's something that I find a little odd. The first volume kind of just ends. Everyone says, good job, Ral, and that's it. They also portray Ral with all these cool pieces of armor and clothing on the covers, but he never wears any of them, except for one panel. The total page count is 808, total volumes 4, total score 3 out of 5. Well, I'd like to thank you all for watching my new review video. This is somewhat of a trial run. I'm experimenting to see what the reception is like for these comic book and manga you know, comic books and manga reviews to see how things go. Um, I've got six planned, and if those six go well, then maybe I'll do a season two and so on and so forth. But in the meantime, I would like to thank you once again for watching. And if you like it, hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. It means so much to me. I mean, I'm such a small fry in this giant... This, I'm going for a metaphor that I just have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Well, I look forward to see you in the next one, so we'll catch you next time, and peace.